Good morning to all of you. Welcome to our class of Healing with Forgiveness. This is your pastor, Yeti. I hope all is well. And as we walk further with each other, may this class, this healing process, gives you a new perspective in life. If it is for a friend or this personal, a brother or a sister, may these deep thoughts, these experiences, these examples that I gave work for you to find healing. Today I'm going to talk about the heart heart and as we walk through a couple of classes of the wounded dog we are now in the example of the unforgiveness identity in 1977 the British American rock band Foreigner released the song Cold as eyes. The song peaked at the American Billboard Hot 100 at 6. You are as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. You never take advice. Someday you pay the price. I know. I've seen it before, it happens all the time. Closing the door, you leave the world behind. You're digging for gold, you're throwing away a fortune in feelings. But someday, you'll pay. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. The temperatures drop. It is cold. Your breath rhythmically appears from the outside cooling temperatures. A change is happening. Weather has caused cooling climatic and atmospheric transformation in physical substances. Liquid begins to freeze. The cracking and crinkling sound of water freezing. Ice covers the landscape. It's hard, frozen, and solid. Ice hangs from the rooftops in jagged, sharp, shimmering crystals. Lakes and ponds are used for fun and entertainment. A wintry wonderland has ensued. When the sun casts a ray of light from the dark, dense clouds, the crystals seem to shine offering cascades of rainbows. A showcase, a showcase of vibrant colors glow for a while. A beautiful landscape is pictured perfect. Not a mark in the snow, the soft white pillow blankets earth causing most to take a picture, a portrait of the first snowfall. It doesn't take long though, ice becomes hazardous, slips and spills, car accidents and damage cause havoc each year. Ice is deceptive. What appears to be a dry walkway may be covered in sheer frozen liquid. Underneath the soft pillow of snow, hard frozen ice. Only the heat of the sun can change the physical state of the dense substance 
and only the intense focused rays of the sun can heal a heart heart. The heart is heart. Pain, past pain has iced over the most important organ in the body. Hence, a lie is believed. If a wall of ice covers and protects this life-giving muscle, then hurt will never be experienced again. Your perception is skewed. I mean, your perception is skewed. The hard heart may deflect the pain for a while, but there will come a different fall. Blessed and favored by God is the man who fears sin sin and its consequences at all times but he who ardens his heart and is determined to sin will fall into disaster Proverbs 28 verse 14 a hard heart is disobedience to God First John and the New Testament is an amazing book. John's ministry revealed his love for Christ, but also Christ's love for mankind. There are powerful truths in John's letter. By this, we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him but whoever keeps his word truly has to love as the love of God perfected perfected in him by this we know we are in him whoever says he remains in Christ ought to walk as Christ walks 1 John 2 2 3 to 6 the hard heart is in direct disobedience to God. As we venture through the cold as ice heart, you will notice a pattern. A deceptive and demonic pattern of lies keeping you from fulfilling your purpose. The enemy has strategically planted seeds of ice within you. The hardness of heart reveals the enjoyment of arguments. It has no compassion or empathy, judgmental, critical, and demanding. The hard heart is highly offensive. It is so well fortified. Light cannot penetrate the willful and deliberated high tower of guards. This precious heart to God is being robbed and quenching the Holy Spirit's guidance. God is losing a child. God is losing a witness. God is losing a prized possession. Through 1 John, these next few chapters will examine the suffocating heart, a heart, heart, needs more frozen liquid to constantly cover it. But we have to remember, ice is not only reflective to light, but refracts light into a spectrum of color. God can penetrate the hardest of hearts if you allow him. He can take a solid rock of ice and dirt and turn it into a rainbow of color. As I always suggest and offer to you as you journal, please put some worship music on. If you're not able on the moment, because you are in your car,
you can listen. And our word association is right the first word that comes to your spirit as you hear these words. What do you believe in your heart? Heart, heart, eyes, stubborn. Lie believed, I am protecting my heart from hurt. Confession, Psalm 69, verse 32. The humble have seen it and are glad. You who seek God, let your heart revive and live. My heart will be glad. It will be refreshed and I will live. Let us pray and confess the word of the living God. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. The Apostle Paul encourages believers as a prisoner for the Lord. Then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received by completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bound of peace. So I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in him, that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity, and they are full of greed. You were thought, with regard to your former way of life, to put off your old self, which is being corrupted, by its deceitful desires to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Show me truth in my innermost being. Heal me of this hardened heart for I never want to be in direct disobedience to your word. Jesus of Nazareth said, Come to me all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew eleven, twenty-eight to 38 into your hands I commit my spirit. This burden of hardness is too difficult to carry. Release me from bondage and set my spirit free. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. I think almost everyone in Europe, global wide, at least in the countries where the song came through, you're as cold as ice. It was a hit. But I believe also that a lot of these words was remembered in lives where the heart was indeed ice, cold as ice.
let Lord Jesus Christ as we say the Son of God shine shine upon your heart that the light the radiance of his light touch so deep that maybe some parts of your heart are hardened and cold as ice will melt for his touch for his healing It is God who can penetrate the hardness of hearts if you follow him, if you allow him. He can take a solid rock of ice and dirt and turn it into a rainbow of color. And may your life have that touch that your heart becomes a warm, accepting giving heart may the peace of God be with you and stays with you and may the power of the Holy Spirit who dwells in you gives you the insight and wisdom and conviction where there are parts of your heart that are ice and he will give you the help if you allow him. He is not far, so don't push him away. God bless. Again, I have an amen. And again, I wish I was hearing it. Amen. Have a good day wherever you are and please how hard and difficult it is also in some ways and maybe for so much of a long, long, long t a lifetime I'm sorry may you find the touch of God in your heart God bless and have a very wonderful experienced day or wherever you are in your time frame. God bless and bye-bye.